Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning, AI and Large Language Model Tutorials. In our previous tutorials on DeepSeq R1, we explained how to install and run DeepSeq R1 locally by using Olama and a terminal window. That tutorial received a very positive feedback, namely, that tutorial has more than 70,000 views and more than 200 comments. Namely, running DeepSeq and similar large language models by using Olama in a terminal window is the first step toward building an AI application. That is, you would first like to test the model and see if it can work on your hardware and then, in the next step, you would embed the AI model in your application. For that purpose, you would most likely use Python or a similar language enabling rapid prototyping. However, a lot of viewers have asked the following question. How to run DeepSeq R1 locally and securely by using a graphics user interface that you can see over here. And in this tutorial, we explain how to run distilled versions of DeepSeq in a graphics user interface, that is by using Web UI. There are several approaches for running distilled versions of DeepSeq in a graphics user interface. The first approach that we covered in previous tutorials is to write your own graphics user interface by using Streamlit. Streamlit is a very powerful library. That approach is for more advanced users since you would have to write your own Python code that will create a graphics user interface, create buttons, etc. However, there is a more simpler approach that you should consider if you want to just to use DeepSeq R1. That is, if you don't want to build an application, then you should follow the approach presented in this particular tutorial. And over here you can see a brief demonstration. Namely, this is the web UI running on my local browser. Notice over here the address. The address is actually a local address, that is you're not connected to the internet and to run the model like this you don't need the internet. And the graphic user interface will appear in your web browser. And over here you can ask a question, for example, let's ask a question, how to solve the equation x squared plus 2 is equal to 0. And over here you can see a nice feature of this graphics user interface, namely it automatically generates latex or displays the equation in the latex form and behind you have the source. Now, what is interesting also to observe is that you can extract this response, include it in your report, or you can probably do a bunch of stuff with web UI. I'm relatively new to web UI, however, I'm starting to explore it and it has a lot of a lot of options. Okay, so let's start with installation. The first step is to install Olama. To do that, open a command prompt or a terminal and in the terminal, you need to update and upgrade. To do that, you need to execute these two commands. We execute them as a single line and press enter. And enter your password and your system will be updated and upgraded. And it's going to take some time to update and upgrade everything. To install Olama, you need to install curl on your system. Most likely you already have curl. However, it's still a good idea to try to install it. Let's verify the installation by typing this command and you should see something like this. The next step is to allow inbound connections on this port over here. To do that, let's first install UFW, most likely it's installed, and after that let's run this. Note over here that you're not opening the port to external entities, that is you will just enable Olama to use this port. The next step is to install Olama. We can do it by running this line over here. And here it is. It's going to take a while to install Olama. So consequently, be patient. The next step is to verify that Olama is running. For that purpose, 
First of all, open a web browser and enter this address. And if you see this message, Olama is running, this means that you have successfully installed Olama. Another test is to go over here in the terminal and to type Olama. And if you see this response, this means that Olama is properly installed. The next step is to download and install the model. For that purpose, open a command prompt and go to the Olama website and search for the model. Search for DeepSeq R1 and over here download the model. Let's click here, select this model or you can also select any other model from this list. Note over here that you are downloading and installing distilled models. Distilled models are the models that have smaller size that, are, that is there these models are compressed. Some portion of performance is sacrificed by compressing the model however the model still works okay so let's click here then copy this command go over here paste this command and over here instead of olama run type olama pool this will only download the model without running it and press enter and then it's going to take a while to download the model maybe three four minutes to download the complete model the next step is to test the model. To test the model, type this, Olama list, and you will see the list of model. Then copy this thing and type Olama run, and here it is. Now Olama will run the model. So let's ask the question, who are you? And here it is. Okay, this means that the model is properly installed and we can proceed further. Exit Olama by pressing Ctrl D and let's continue. The next step is to create a workspace folder, then to create a Python virtual environment, then to install the necessary library, and finally to start web UI. So let's do these steps. First of all, let's make sure that we have Python on our system. And let's see the Python version. Here it is. I'm using Python 3.12. And here is one very important remark. On the web UI website, it's written that you need Python 3.11 to run web UI. However, I was able to perfectly and with no problems install web UI on Python 3.12. I noticed that some users are reporting errors on Python 3.13. The best strategy is actually to install Python 3.11. However, if you have, like I have, Python 3.12, the software will most likely work. First, let's go to the home folder. And then in the home folder, let's create a folder called test web UI. Then let's navigate to web UI folder. And inside of this folder, let's create a Python virtual environment. However, before we do that, let's make sure that the command for creating Python virtual environments is installed. To do that, you need to run this and over here, make sure that you adjust your Python version and press enter. Okay, the next step is to create the Python virtual environment. To do that, we first need to execute this command. Now wait. And secondly, we need to activate the Python virtual environment. We do it like this. And you can see in parentheses environment one. This means that Python virtual environment is activated. The next step is to install open web UI library. To do that, you simply need to run this. And here it is. Now it's going to take a while to install this library, even five to 10 minutes, since you're downloading and installing a lot of things over here. And consequently, you need to be patient. And then after running this command, we can start web UI by executing this command. And here we are. Okay, now you here you need to be patient. Since first time you're running this command, the software will be updated or upgraded and several other things will be done. So consequently be patient. And after some time you should see this screen and then you will be able to run web UI. To run web UI, simply copy this address, go to your web browser, paste the address over here, press enter and here you are. Okay. 
Now here there is something unauthorized, however you can just ignore for the time being. And then over here you can just enter your name, then enter your email address. So I'm going to enter for example this email address. And note over here that you are not, not actually entering anything online. You're executing everything on your local system. And enter your password over here. And here you're creating administrator account on your local system. I'm not going to save this. Close. And let's run the model. First of all, over here you can see the list of installed models. Namely, instead of this single models model, you, should, you can also select several other models models so let's click on this model and over here let's ask a question who are you and let's see what happens now it's going to take some time to load the model however it's pretty much fast here you here you are so let's ask a question how to solve a quadratic equation so let's see this and let's give a quadratic equation for example this one plus, for example, 45 is equal to 0, and let's see what will happen. Now, behind the scenes, model is computing the solution. Know that I'm running this software on my NVIDIA 4090, actually 3090 GPU with 24 gigabyte of VRAM and on a computer with 64 gigabyte of RAM memory. And literally, in several seconds, you can obtain the solution, and that's it. You were able to run the distilled version of DeepSeek R1 in your web browser. Okay, that's all for today, and thanks for watching.